This beer is called Original Lemon Meringue Ice Cream Sorbet. It is a pale ale, I think, and it's by the Buxton Brewery Company. This is the most expensive beer that you can get in Tesco, probably, and I'm going to review it. Hello everyone, welcome to Top of the Hops. Yes, I've, I've done a couple of Top of Hops. Top of Hops. Uh, Top of the Hops uh, recently, or at least uploaded, because on our Patreon, we uploaded the banana bread review that I did. Uh, I'm, I'm not beer, uh, I don't drink the beers, so generally I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to review this anyway. Um, I hope that very slowly I'm getting into beer more, but wishful it might be wishful thinking anyway this was in Tesco it's 440 milliliters so it's under the size of a uh, of like a bottle of pop um, and it was five pounds so it's very expensive um, like I said it is from the Buxton Brewery Company and it is called original lemon meringue ice cream sorbet Here's the label, it looks so nice, like the, the, the label is so crisp and so nice and it's got this cool reflective logo. And this label here, like the, I mean I can understand why I paid £5 because it's all textured and really nice. And I, like I said, I think it's a pale ale. A refreshingly sweet and tart lemony ice cream pale ale from the original ice cream series by Buxton X Omni Polo. Oh, so it's Omni Polo as well, it's actually a... A collaboration beer. I've got a glass, I'll pour it out. Right. Definitely smells more of beer than of Do you want a head? Do you do you want the get the head on the beers? Is that something that people want? Um certainly smell the lemon. I certainly smell a bit of sort of zesty meringue pie filling for sure. Yeah, it does smell rather lemony. There's an interesting back note in the smell. It's almost like a musky, piquant grassiness. Interesting. Um, it's that colour. This isn't. It's you know, it's night time. It's 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 half seven, and we're in March, so I've got the curtains closed. This isn't giving probably. A particularly true nature of what the colour is, it's probably a little bit more pale in the flesh. In fact, in the flesh it's a bit more yellow. It's really nice actually, it does, but it actually looks like lemon meringue pie with the with the light yellow going into the meringue topping which is our head. But uh, in any case, let's give this beer a go. Five pounds. By the way, it's six percent, so it's quite high for me. Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. It's got a really nice texture. It's very, it's quite thick. Like quite viscous. Oh, it's it's very sharp and refreshing as soon as it goes on your tongue. Mmm. It's almost like a sour. Like I've had, um, wow. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nice. I actually, I actually think I like it. Um, <coughs> a little bit of foam on my tongue. Hang on, so there's other ones in this series. Yeah, it's so it's really thick. It's like it's like a really syrupy soda. It's very tart. Not quite as tart as a as an actual sour beer, as I have had a few sours and they have been actually my my more preferred beers. It's got a very So to me, when I buy these beers that are like random mental flavours, I can't usually taste the flavours too much. This I can certainly taste the lemon. I'll tell you what it reminds me of. I used to love, uh, I say I used to love, I do still love them, but just don't, haven't bought one in ages. Uh, Foster's Rattler, which is like a lemon, basically a lemon beer shandy. And this kind of reminds me of that, because it does obviously have the similar flavours of beer and lemon. But this does taste certainly more high quality. It's obviously strong with the beer flavour. The strength, I wouldn't say it, it tastes as, as strong as 6%. I don't know if some of the sourness masks that. It's quite sweet as well for a beer, which again, something I like. Now it is called Lemon Meringue Ice Cream Sorbet. So does it have any creaminess? There is a there is a hint of creaminess there. But it is, it kind of does remind me of all those things. I think the thickness makes you, makes you conjure up images of a light meringue. I think the, uh, 
the sharpness and the tartness and the overall refreshing taste certainly conjures up um, images of, of sorbet. It smells really nice actually. So I still don't like beer, let me be clear. However, this is probably one of the best beers I've ever had, if not the best. Like I say, there was a few sours that I really liked, but yeah, this is really nice. This is very tasty. Uh, it's very expensive, five pounds. Like I don't even, I don't, if anyone can tell me why it is that much, that, that does seem like a hell of a lot of money. That being said, yeah, the whole package is really good. I like the thickness, I like the texture. The flavour's good. And you can actually taste certainly some notes of what it is claiming to be. I would give it, yeah, listen guys, I don't like beer, so take this rating with a pinch of salt, but I give it like a high three stars. Mmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's surprisingly good. And yeah, so it's what it says on the can... From the original ice cream series by Buxton X Omnipolo, and I found this image. So there's they've done a vanilla one. Original villa, vanilla ice cream pale ale, uh, pale ale, Rocky Road, and there's a Texas pecan. Um, I I need to buy the vanilla ice cream Omnipolo. Yeah, I I. I can I buy this from somewhere? I need to buy this. Can I buy this? Oishka. Oishka. Vanilla. Is it on Omnipolo's website? Sort of can't see it, to be fair. That's good. Oh, I'm glad I can't see it. That's really good. Anyway, I'm just Googling things now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Drink responsibly, and I'll see you next time. Oh my god! We just bought her from there. Oh.